Hi guys, my name is Zain Javed and in this video we will show you how you can set up Stripe's subscription cancellation webhook in Bubble. So let's get this started. So right now as you can see that I have a user who is subscribed to a plan and he is seeing a cancel, cancel subscription option. But our use cases, let's suppose he has reached his uh, uh, period where he needs to subscribe to the plan again and some and somehow his card gets declined for various reasons like insufficient funds or the card is deactivated or any other reason in that case we need to automatically make him unsubscribe on our app too so to handle handle this kind of use case we need to set up webhooks in bubble of, uh, and and in stripe as well so let's get this started so to set up webhooks you need to have uh, backend workflows enabled if you don't see your uh, backend workflows enabled you can come into the settings then into the api section and check this check mark when you do this you come back to the workflows again and you need to set up a new api workflow from from here so when you do this you can call it any uh, anything like you can call it stripe webhook and do the parameter definition to detect request data and click on detect data copy this url come back to so you need to make sure that you are into the test mode come back to your stripe and click developers once you are in developers you need to go into the webhooks so as you can see i already have one webhook here uh, we will not choose that one and we can use this endpoint add and add an endpoint when you, so notice how we have initialized here you need to make sure that once the webhook is, is set up you need to remove it after afterwards so for now what we can do is we can search for events so these are the events in the stripe that if this event will happen stripe will call this uh, webhook url that we have just added so we need to tell stripe which event it needs to track so we can first select this one and then we clear it and this one too so only these two events click on add endpoint and this is basically everything that you need to do so now what you have to do is you need to come into this billing section again and inside the billings come into subscriptions and to test this webhook make sure you are detecting request data right now because if we are going to make this user and um, we are going uh, we are going to cancel this user's subscription when we do this bubble will receive the data and request data and like how we do the api calls and it will know what the data to expect uh, next time so let's do it cancel subscription and here we go you can see that bubble now knows all of this data that is that this webhook will return and now we can save its response now that we know all of this we can simply make changes here so we can say make changes to think and when you do this you can search for do a search for users and let's say you have a subscription id so this api will return you as your subscription id you need to have your subscription id against a user saved already so you can get the subscription id from your the request data which will be object id how you can confirm it you can just go to the stripe by book again click on modify types and as you can see any subscription that starts from sub this is a subscription id it, it right now says that it's an object id but it is a subscription id and then 
and then that's it you need to have uh, get the user via its subscription id get first item and you can what you can do is you can get uh, mark the subscription uh, subscription id as empty and mark the subscribed as no so this is so this is all you can do your uh, app uh, your use case in your app can be different but basically this is all that you have to do to make the user unsubscribe and now the most important part is that you need to go back to this swipe again and remove the initialize from there so we'll go to the webhooks again and then click webhooks and when you click this so, so we need to remove the initialize click on update details and remove the initialize and you have to copy this URL as well update the endpoint so that's all that you need to do and you need to go to the live mode go to, go to the developers again so you need to set up you, you now need to set up the uh, this URL in the live mode as well click on webhooks add endpoint paste this URL and make sure that you remove this version test from here that's all and then you need to select the same events that you added there which can be customer subscription deleted and this one that's all let's quickly check this again now so as you can see that that user who was subscribed is now unsubscribed from our app but let's test this again one more time so let let's subscribe him again and click go to test mode click on billing and you can see that we have a subscription here okay then so let's go to the subscription management you can see that this user is subscribed and it has a subscription here as well so i'll just click on cancel once you click on cancel it will mark him uh, unsubscribed from here as well automatically so that was all thank you so much for watching this tutorial this far and i'll see you in the next one thank you